Since Jeffrey and Zena Paul founded Weeks for Kids in 1983, the nonprofit organization has helped thousands of children suffering from hair loss. Inspired by his niece, Laura, who had been diagnosed with leukemia and lost her hair during chemotherapy, Jeffrey applied his hairdressing talents to help Laura perform her beloved gymnastics with a full head of hair. We ended up watching her go through all the events. We're thrilled, but then there's that last event that Lou Retton made very famous where she runs down with all her might, hits that trampoline, jumps over the horse and comes down and hits her sides with both hands. She looks at me and she glimmers and I'm thinking, oh my God, <laughs> this is the test of tests. And she did, she ran with all her might, hit that tramp, jumped over, came down as she came down and slapped to both sides. She looked up in the audience and went like this to me. Tears poured out of my eyes. To this day, it still, it still chokes me up. Laura later succumbed to leukemia, but this tragic experience only reinforced Jeffrey's compassionate commitment to help other children who had lost their hair due to illness. Nearly three decades later, Wigs for Kids has grown into a sizable operation, furnishing wigs to more than 100 children annually. Each day, hundreds of ponytails, 12 inches or longer, arrive in the mail from all over the world. My mailman, five days a week, he walks in with anywhere from two to five mail crates. Inside those crates can be hundreds of ponytails. They come from all over the United States, and of course, each envelope has a story. Weeks for Kids partners with other community organizations, like the United Cerebral Palsy Center, to collect and sort the hair. They also acknowledge each precious donation with a thank you note. At a special facility, the hair is then shaped into a customized prosthetic hair system designed by Jeffrey Paul. This is the construction of the, the hair piece base. And the hairpiece base is made up of, of course, the outer parameter of polyurethane, both in the nape and the frontal and the sideburn areas, so that we can attach that and give them security so they can be as active as they want to. And then for the individual children that want to pull their hair back, we have the lace front, so that the lace front, when it lays against the surface of the head, will actually look like hair coming right from the hair. 15 to 20 ponytails are needed to create one hair system at a cost of $1,500 per wig. That's why Wigs for Kids relies on private donations to fund the organization's extremely valuable work. The rewards of returning a child's self-esteem and ability to play freely cannot be measured. Once the cut's done, we've got the smile on the face, it really becomes a part of them and it no longer is a wig. It's a part of their life, and that's what we really want out of the whole project. The abundant care and love that goes into helping hundreds of children look and feel like themselves through the work of the entire Weeks for Kids organization arose from the heart-rending personal experience of one child, Laura, whose illness forever transformed Jeffrey Paul. It made a change in her life. It then went on in her legacy to change hundreds and now thousands of kids all over the United States and Canada and overseas as well.